Hello, and welcome back to the finale of Let's Play Borderlands, The Secret Armory of General Knox. So, uh, in the last part we were proceeding through here, caused quite a bit of carnage on, <laughs> on our way, and, uh, saw that the General was finally upset with, or, um, you know, fed up with the Admiral, which was a little child. So right up here, uh, we get more, uh, these lances to deal with. So I'm just gonna kind of, uh, kind of trail them through. Hit that one in the back, and he's left for me to finish. There we go. Usually there's one more Devastator that I do have to deal with, so let's see, we got Shock Core is good. Keep my shield up. And here we go, there's that last Devastator, and it's, uh, well, it's not going to be the last Devastator. <laughs> not by a long shot. But, uh, the last one in this area. So, in the meantime, we're just going to be proceeding, jump over this fence, and, uh, we have a lot. And I mean a lot of Crimson Lance to go through. So right here, I'm going to try to take out the defenders first, because uh, they're the most annoying ones. At least to me, they are. And uh, now they're going to start shooting. So to reduce uh, the incoming fire, I'm just kind of staying uh, next to a wall. It should usually do it. Wow, that should have been a headshot. But it's not totally accurate all the time, is it? <laughs> no, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Yeah, but uh, I had to take a little minor break before I started up this episode, because... Uh, uh, you know, I'm kind of recording like three or four episodes at a time, trying to get, uh, you know, enough content for the week in case I forget, which I usually do. I mean, you probably know that by now. But, uh, yeah. Had to get a nice cup of something to drink, trying to soothe my sore throat after, you know, speaking for so long. Uh, if you want to know, I was drinking, uh, VH Splash. The fruit drinks. <laughs> I don't really like the vegetable ones, although I can say that I've never actually tried it, so, uh, wouldn't know. So right over here, kind of liked another shot core. Hmm, usually sometimes there's a Crimson Lance chest right at that area, but, uh, not this time, so cool, I guess. Come on. Bust through them. Just keep going through. I keep getting hit by something special. It looks, I think it's a glob gun. Someone's actually using a glob gun against me. There you are. Let's see, radiant glob gun. All right, let's pick it up for for the sake of uh, picking it up. <laughs> so let's go for a long range shot. Ah, did not finish him. Oh, crotch shot. Kind of scrape back and forth. Be annoying. There we go. A lot of shock cores, dang. I was expecting to be finished with collecting shock cores by now, but I guess we will finish uh, while we're coming through here. So usually, uh, right over here, uh, we have to deal with the uh, jetpack troopers. Uh, they usually come, sometimes glitch up under the uh, ground, but this time uh, they did not. So that's good for us. We get to see them. That's again, and melting in midair into a pile of goo. So right over here, a Crimson Lance chest. Usually, a uh, Crimson Lance Shorty pops out. Let's just kind of back up. There we go. Crimson Shorty. He's also one of those unique little midget type characters. But I uh, <laughs> took him out pretty easily. Alright, what else do we got here? Just notice me. Wow. You guys really do suck as soldiers. Alright, another one. Just kind of just pelting shots now. Almost finished with the speed cores, actually. That's uh, surprising. So shot course complete. Yes. And more ammo. We're gonna need it. And we're on the last stretch before we reach the armory. So uh, right over here, usually two badass uh, elemental troopers. Usually acid one here, and like a shock one over there. Or is that changed? So this badass engineer, and the badass infantry. So I don't get uh, either one of those. Just uh, the uh, pain in the ass ones to deal with. So. Kind of just come over here. Come on, Bloodwing. Take him out. So as you see, uh, the badass ones do have these armor plates on them that uh, prevent them from uh, actually taking damage in those body parts. A lot more so than the uh, the other ones. Wow. Power core's getting there. Uh, what was over here? Shot core... whatever. Let's pick it up. And a white weapons chest. Nothing I'm too concerned about. Uh, this might, this episode might go to some length. I'm gonna have to apologize for that. Just try to get 
you know the finale done in uh, one episode. It's right over here. Collect the ammo. And we got some other stuff. If I really care. Which I don't. Uh, I guess that rocket trooper stuck underground, which <laughs> happens a lot. Like I was saying earlier. Alright, so let's enter right into the Crimson Armory. But before that, um, let's go equip the right quest. So right in here we go. So you can see uh, there is a little timer there for some reason. I wonder why. So yes, we are finally in the armory. Let's uh, take this fight to General Knox himself. Expose munitions. Alright, alright. I'll do that. In the meantime, we have uh, vendors over here. So good time to stock up on uh, whatever you need right now. So Peter... Hmm... Yeah, can't really do anything else. And grenades not really worried me. Ranger, Ranger. Ooh. It's not bad at all. Ranger class mod. Yeah, I'll just pick that up for now. No reason not to. Ajax's spear. Quite a cool one. I wish I could scale this up. Something more useful. Ah, such a pain. Don't have the right level I want for it. So uh, right over here we have the cold torments. I guess, uh... Well, this pistol is, like, going to be our main damage because it has six rounds, even though this one's uh, a little better. This one's still, uh... Is it? Yeah, it's way more accurate. So I'm going to equip one of these uh, acid guns. Chiquito Amigo sounds good. Uh, the uh, SMG, not really going to be useful. I don't use cold torments or anything with the cold uh, uh, prefix behind it because uh, the bullets are... Although they do more damage, they are also slower, and I don't like that at all. So let's go for the Rage Gun, and uh, let's continue on. So first of all, we want to start off with the Acid Gun. Uh, because uh, everything here is Lance. And I don't think we'll be dealing with chemical lances in this area anyways. So we're going to have a little cutscene as soon as we come up this elevator, and I'll just be quiet throughout that. So uh, enjoy. Well, that's just inappropriate timing. I got tired of waiting and was hoping to be dead before you got here. I can't stand this place. Make you a deal. If you best me in this fight, which seems likely, maybe you could just blow the planet up entirely. Kill all of them. That's the fairest thing to do. <laughs> Knox doesn't like Monday, so yeah, there's that little cutscene before the fight with General Knox, so what we like to start off with is uh, kind of just kind of pelting him. Uh, if you can get headshots in, that'd be uh, most uh, ideal, but right now I'm not very good with that. And uh, his main damage will be from those uh, shock ones, because they take out your shield. But right over here, we can uh, kind of take free reign at uh, shooting at his face, and uh, that is where the most damage will be dealt. I think that's the only way to deal damage to him, actually. And once he reaches at a certain uh, uh, point in his health bar, he actually uh, calls out uh, things to fight us. And uh, you know, we want to take these guys out as quick as possible. The thing is, uh, once he reaches here... The elevator's coming down yet? Okay, not yet. Alright, maybe he has to reach half health, but before that, let's take care of this Devastator. Easy enough. Can get a bunch of headshots in. And this speed burst will definitely help us out. So switch back over to uh, our main damage and uh, start pelting him in the face. I was just waiting for him to reach like half health. There we go. I hear the elevators. And uh, we need to rush over here and kill these medics as quick as possible before they start healing uh, Nox himself. So once you get close to him, I think that's when they start. There we go. We took out the uh, medics. Even though uh, he did heal back up, it's very annoying, but uh, what are you going to do? So in the meantime, we can still try to Take him out slowly. Uh, the, I don't think Bloodwing does much to him. It's not that I remember. So jump when he jumps. I keep away from that. 
I want this uh, speed thing. There we go. There we go. Done with that. Let's uh, equip the shield, and uh, we can try to, f you know, slowly take out Noxus. So we've taken out all the combat medics, and uh, the rest of the fight should be quite easy now. Especially with these, uh, this uh, little uh, shock thing with us. If we can keep staggering him, he will miss with those things and like shoot the ground or something like that. Ugh. And you can shoot him out of the air if uh, you did not know that. So that's another thing you can uh, keep in mind if you have a fast-firing weapon. So I kind of had him in like a little uh, bit of a combo. So Nox is almost done. See ya. So Nox is done with, we just have to deal with the Badass Devastator, which is probably the toughest of them all. <laughs> Oops, I did not mean to use this weapon, but it's already in my uh, hands. So switch back over to the Chiquito Amigo and uh, blast him with the Acid Element. And uh, that is it! That was the Nox fight. Um, it's a lot tougher if you're actually at the, uh, you know, level that they want you to be at. But uh, for that, we get the Nox's Gold. Now, uh, Nox's Gold is quite unique that... Um, you can always come back after saving and exiting and fighting him, but also because uh, because you can um, come back, you will have different like versions of it, like different fire rates. Uh, I think the accuracy always stays the same, but uh, the thing is, uh, if you want to collect weapons, you can collect uh, all three elements of Nox's... Uh, where's a four? I think there's four. Yeah, explosive counts as an element, right? <laughs> See, shock, acid, and... Uh, shock, acid, and fire. So yeah, and then explosive, and then there's the regular one, so... You remember the code? It was Bico, blue, yellow, cyan, orange. So, two, yellow, cyan... There we go, and we are in. Thank so, uh, quite cool. Out of the way. I don't need to hide my signal anymore. Find the control room overlooking the warehouse floor. The computer interface for the detonator should be there. Athena, out. Alright, cool. So, uh, what we actually do is we actually do enter the armory and we start looting the Before crap out of everything. You need to expose the munitions to ensure their destruction. The control should be nearby. Athena, out. Yes, yes, we heard you the first time. So, right over here, we need to activate the leftmost one. The detonator, the countdown will begin. I suggest you steal as much weaponry as you can carry before... Yeah, 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 we got you. Consider this your payment for all of the help. Athena, out. Thanks, Athena. You have a good life, too. So, loot larceny. The time is short. The armor is going to blow in a few minutes. Grab as much gear as you can. Alright. Will do. So, uh, right over here, uh, we can start off right away with uh, these chests over here. Um, what I like to do is actually just click as many of them as you can, and then you can take a quick look at them. I uh, usually go straight for the purples and oranges. So, Deadly Bastard... Um, Oranges don't really care. Now over here is uh, quite a bit of chest, and I do like this part. So uh, you can see the countdown's already starting on all those missile things. So nothing too useful. Uh, some purples here. Uh, grounded shield, not very good. Sniper class mod, definitely want that. Um, help us out later. I don't go for the white chest for obvious reasons, because uh, usually they're crap. So right over here, uh, we have more behind there. Uh, quite a few pe people uh, miss those ones, but uh, me and my <laughs> friends have already got a thing for that. So uh, right over here, we activate this. We actually uh, can uh, kind of search through all these little uh, little alcoves. There's about nine of them. And uh, we can uh, take a quick look and gander at uh, what we might want. That's not bad, Desert Sniper. So we'll take that. Uh, guess we're good here. See a lot of red chests up here. Let's go up. I mean, uh, gotta show off the rest of this area before uh, the two minutes are up. So I'm just not gonna loot too much. I'm just kind of just kind of showing everything off. Uh, Hunter shotgun, not bad at all. Not bad. Twelve rounds and a pretty decent one. So uh, right over here, what we want to do is uh, it's a lot safer just to head over here and then just kind of jump off right into the uh, good stuff. So right in here, we have uh, more stuff we can activate. And here, a lot of chest. But the uh, main thing is that you can go across this bridge and it will lead back down to behind that elevator where I went to earlier. But uh, the other place that I do have to show off is uh, right up here. And this is the highest point in the armory. And uh, <clears throat> if you have four players, it's much easier to try to coordinate uh, stealing everything. 
Uh, usually everyone can open everything and then just take a minute, quick look what's useful. Yeah, 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 we, we know. So, open this up. Looks like we got a lot of pistols. Definitely want the Firehawk. I uh, don't care for the Gemini. And the Cinder Fury, uh, we can say screw that to that. I uh, definitely want this. We have like 30 seconds left or something. So what do we have here? Desert Thumper, don't care. So right in here is the last area. I'm just going to open this real quick and take a quick look first. Aha, another glorious revolution. Not bad. Support Gunner and Rifleman. So, uh, yeah, we probably won't be able to loot everything, but just take a quick look. And uh, this is the, the main missile area. <laughs> so, double SMG, quite good, actually, if I had a Lilith character, but nah, don't have that. And uh, we should be getting out of here, but uh, too bad. <laughs> we actually don't die anyways, because we do restart back at, uh, you know, the right place. We'll grab that, too. And uh, here is the last part. The General Knox DLC. Watch as it explodes, and I'm still inside. <laughs> but it's all fine and dandy, because we will be right back at the new station. You see Athena kind of taking a look at... Um, Taking a look at it. So uh, here are the credits. So, uh, you know, thank you guys for sticking with me as I played through uh, the secret armory of General Knox. Um, you know, we still have a few side quests left to do, which I will get around to in the next video. Um, what else do I have to say? We have the one more DLC to head to, and uh, we're completely finished with this game after that. So it's kind of got me sad. Uh, this was one of my favorite games. I spent a hell of a lot of time with uh, my friends on it. So, uh, you look forward to the next one. The next uh, one is called uh, Claptrap's Robo Revolution. And uh, as you can get from the title, uh, you know, Claptrap's a big uh, player in it. And uh, Robo Revolution means uh, there's going to be a revolution from the uh, little Claptrap uh, units all around. So, uh, it's quite a fun and uh, funny DLC. And uh, I do quite enjoy it. Uh, Secret General, uh, or Secret Armory. Is also a very nice one for uh, you know the additions of uh, the new weapon types and class mods. So that was not uh, that was cool. Uh, you know, Jacob's Cove one I think was out during Halloween time too. So uh, you know that kind of made sense and people just want uh, it was during a time where everyone was still crazy for zombies. You know, uh, back when you know Red Dead Redemption had that uh, Undead Nightmare DLC and I think Love for Dead 2 came out and there was uh, you know still. You know, the Black Ops stuff. Was Black Ops out back then, or was that World War? Hmm. It's been quite a while. But yeah, the, the zombie craze was still pretty big, and, uh, you know, who, who wouldn't cash in on it, right? <laughs> so as you can see, uh, this little uh, concept art for uh, what was going on in the Secret Armor of General Knox. Uh, you know, everyone was quite uh, pleased and excited about this uh, DLC. And uh, it didn't disappoint too badly. The only thing that... Uh, everyone still hates is not being able to fast travel between areas in the DLC places. So uh, I always find that strange. Uh, we, you know, have this traveling of the, uh, the cars and everything. Uh, the Claptrap Rebel Revolution doesn't fix that and, um, you know, Undead or uh, Jacob's Cove also did not fix that. So you see uh, Secret Armory of General Knox about down at the bottom right of the uh, title has his number 61. So um, as uh, you might tell from that, um, it started, uh, you know, max level was 50, so uh, they wanted to turn it up to 11 and uh, raise it up 11 points. So, we are back into the game, and uh, yeah, we still got some uh, quests to turn in. And, uh, you know, I might spec back to the sniper class now that we've uh, looted some pretty decent ones, actually. So let's see what we got. What can we turn in right now? So let's, uh... Yeah, we're at Rhodes End. I'm, I'm going to try to uh, get as much done as possible. I know we have, like, one more quest, but uh, I'm not exactly sure why it has not activated yet. Uh, that was why I was going for that lever, but I did not see anything light up, so uh, that was a little bit strange to me. Maybe it's after uh, the bitches of payback, which is most likely. Uh, we need to head back that way anyways for Skyscraper, which... Uh, a very easy drifter if you're using the monster, uh, the monster truck. And, uh, yeah, as easy as always, just kind of stray far away from them. Oops, I forgot this, uh, echo recorder. Let's do this. I know I said I wasn't gonna update just kind of run while I do this. 
I don't really want to fight these guys anymore. Agent Athena has been working with the quartet of donkeys that vested our Bolimic Albano Commandant. You remember Athena, right? Killed the doll under Secretary for us a while back. Oh, wait. Uh, that was before you were born. Huh. Unbelievable. What am I doing with my life? Well, I wanted to let you know I'll be shooting the whole lot of them. Oh, and I quit. Now, uh, when this mission is done, I'm leaving the Lance, which I know is punishable by death, but that only suits the changing diapers couldn't find the car keys if they drop in their own pockets. So, I'm not too worried. You'll try me down on the other side of Drop It 4. In conclusion, toodles. <laughs> so, yeah. Also showing he was, uh, annoyed at everything there. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, as you can see, uh, when we did enter there, he was trying to kill himself. But uh, we got there, so uh, it's like, oh, I guess we can fight. <laughs> uh, keep him from getting bored. So yeah, thinking about that means that if we went there any later, you know, he should have killed himself, and uh, we would have uh, been spared the trouble of having to do that. So yeah, before we uh, end this uh, off, I'm just gonna go over to Moxie's really quickly and just turn in that quest and continue on from there and try to uh, get as many side quests done as possible. I don't know how many more videos that will be. Maybe uh, once or one or two of them. We probably won't be able to reach Moxies, actually. we got quite a bit of a distance to actually drive. Ugh. So we're done with that loop-de-loop -loop shit. One of these should do it. Yeah. Usually the missiles can't take them out. Just kind of boost right by these things. I don't want to deal with them. And yeah, I don't think we can do that uh, in this mission. But in the meantime, I'm just going to shoot all these little ants in the way. Alright, let's take them out the old-fashioned way. Oops. Oh, I almost finished them off, actually. Ass shot! <laughs> and we'll finish this off. There we go. So, in the next part, we are going to finish up the rest of the side quests we have here. I will turn in that, um the uh, Marcus Sweet quest if we do get... Uh, I won't do it, I'm just gonna turn in the first quest, because uh, the two other ones he gives us is pretty much uh, just to go through the armory once again, but there's a little glitch we can do to get in there anyways, and you can look that up if you really care for it, but uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next episode.